After replenishing the supplies and enjoying Bernoulli's delicious fruit scones, Captain Base and her crew decided to sail according to the random compass for a while in order to study the mysteries of a so-called random walk. Friends, for our random walk we twist the random compass only once, thus having an equal chance to choose a cardinal direction, north, east, south or west. Let our random odyssey across the ocean begin! Set sails! Aye aye, Captain! What? Twisting only once means no free day anymore. The very thought makes me sick. Indeed, after 15 days on the odyssey across the ocean, the rough ocean made Bernoulli so seasick that he got confused with recording the travel progress correctly. Mamma mia! I think I've lost track. These course records don't make any sense to me anymore. Capitan, have a look at this mess. I cannot tell where we are on the map. What do you think? What is the average distance from our origin? The longer we sail, the more points are within theoretical reach. But there must be a logic to estimate the probability of the distance. So in which direction are we sailing right now? Left or north, right, I'll just draw randomly. Oh no, the journey makes me so weak and clumsy that I spilled all the ink on the map. Now we can watch the lines fade under the ink dispersing. Bernoulli, how wonderful you draw the average course of this random journey. The darker the ink, the higher the probability. The fusion must be a random walk too. No, I need fresh air. Marvelous idea. Oh, it's such a wonderful day. I like my air cool, my ocean calm and my destination unknown. Pascal, what may you be doing with this bottle in your hand? That ain't no ordinary bottle, but a bottle message. Oh, whom are you writing to? Well, myself. Yourself? Yes, I shall drop it in the ocean and hope to find it again. I'm sure our paths will cross on our random journey. What a brilliant idea! I like your engagement and creativity to formulate new questions. I wonder what's the probability of your optimism to find it again. Toss the bottle overboard! Aye aye, Captain! Ah, Ernesto! You returned from your random flight. Lucky me, I've made it by chance. I know from my friend Kakutani the cockatoo that a ray tune on a random flight in 3D is not for sure. Look whom I found on the outlook. Oh, Euler, my old friend. Do you have news from my brother in England? <sighs> ah, I see you brought me a letter. My dear Mary Ann. We go through absolute hell in England. In fact, the whole world is suffering from an epidemic. The smallpox. Luckily, Lady Montago promoted already the method of variolation, which brings hope to find a cure. In Shetland and Suffolk, they developed two different ways of how to obtain the inoculum and how to applicate it. Dave reported the death rates for both methods in two towns. The first type using smallpox pulses proved to be more effective in both cities. But the second using smallpox pus seems to work better in total. Paradoxical, isn't it? Take care. P.S. Don't drink and derive. Newton has had an accident recently. Leibniz was so very mischievous. Your loving brother. Thomas Bayes. That's shocking news. I hope at least one type of variolation works. Hmm. I wonder whether an epidemic can be simulated by a random walk too. Don't tell me about diseases. I even feel the smallpox popping up on my back. Ernesto, I am so seasick. Or even worse. I might suffer from scorbute.
I think I need some citrus fruits to prevent myself from losing my teeth. Why can't we just sail to that cute turtle-shaped island over there and enjoy some fresh orange lemonade on the beach? It looks just five days away. Hi, Bernoulli. You're such a hypochondriac fellow. Bernoulli, I know you don't feel well, but by chance we will reach that island anyway. I don't want to spoil the experiment that we just started. To distract yourself from this frenetic thought, you could investigate the probability to reach the Turtle Island in 5, 6, or a worst case, 10 days. I'm confident that we'll reach it for sure. Aye, that's tough, but I will do my very best. But first, I have to get some scorbut prevention. I need fruit. Well, I saw some dates in the galley. In the galley, Bernoulli is sad to find the date pot empty. Laplace knows the reason. Bernoulli, I tell you, we have a bloody rat on board that stole all your beloved fruits. I just revealed its secret loopholes in between our chambers. A rat! I'm gonna find! What shall we do? I made a map. I even suspect the lookouts to be hideaways and assumed that ropes are possible paths too. We'll just ambush it in the most frequented room. Which room is it? Is it the galley? I doubt it. I assumed the rat to change the room each hour randomly according to this map. We might somehow be able to figure out from this model which room is visited most frequently. Phew! Another problem to solve but also another source of disease to diminish. Well, let's start. Can you help Captain Bass and True Crew to give numbers to the problems raised? What is the average distance from the origin of the random selling turn after N steps? How long will it take on average to find the bottle post again on the ocean? What is the probability to reach the spotted island after 5, 6 or 10 days when continuing the random walk on the ocean? Where can Laplace find the rat with the highest probability, assuming the rat randomly changes position every hour? Watch the next video to gain more insight into stochastic processes and have a look at the random walk simulations.